I'm Claire Jordan, the do-it-yourself virgin, and today I'm reviewing the Black & Decker TLD100 Thermal Detector. The Black & Decker Thermal Detector comes in this rather large box. Inside the box is three pamphlets, the thermal detector, and more box. You could probably pack about three of these devices into a box this size. I'm just saying, that doesn't seem like a very good start for a green product, right? Inside the box is a fancy four-color booklet that I immediately assumed was a practical user guide. It isn't. It's a marketing piece to sell you other Black & Decker products. The user manual, on the other hand, is basically three black and white pages, and it only shows you how to insert the batteries, how to turn it on, and how far to hold it from an object for an accurate reading. What the manual doesn't provide is any real clue about what the thermal detector is or how to effectively use it in your home. The other reviewers on Amazon all seem to know all about thermal detectors and how to use them. I doubt that the other reviewers even needed to read the manual. And I'm probably a little out of my league here, I'll admit it, but when I bought this thing, I didn't have a clue what it was or how it worked. And after reading the instructions, I had no more idea how to use it than before I opened the box. Luckily, the thermal detector is not a particularly difficult instrument to figure out. After flying blind with it for 30 or 40 minutes, I had the gist of how it works and was able to make some basic assumptions about how to best use it. Okay, here's my take on it. The Black & Decker thermal detector is basically a digital thermometer that shows you where hot and cold air is leaking in from outdoors by visually showing you the temperature differences on surfaces near the leaks. The beam of light changes from the default color of green to red when it hits something warmer than your baseline temperature. You know, that could mean an area where warm air is leaking in or it could mean you're beaming it on your hand. The light turns blue when it detects cooler temperatures. Sealing, insulating, and tightening up air leaks is a constant job in our house. And honestly, I don't need an expensive digital thermometer to tell me that my doors, windows, and cracked walls leak in cold air in the winter and hot air in the summer. The main reason I got the Black & Decker thermal detector is to find some of the less obvious leaks and to ensure that our repairs and remediation efforts are really effective. This tool seems very well suited to that task. The Black & Decker TLD100 thermal detector is pretty straightforward to use. It allows you to see drafts in places where you might not feel them, and it provides feedback on areas where you've insulated or made repairs. My biggest gripe with Black & Decker on this product is with the lack of quality instructions. It also seems somewhat counterproductive for a green tool to not use a rechargeable battery system. And speaking of green, the packaging is pretty darn wasteful. Overall, though, the Black & Decker TLD100 thermal detector seems like a pretty useful and effective tool, you know, once you figure out how to use it. So, I give it four hammers. I'm Claire Jordan, the do-it-yourself virgin.